What's up, guys? Hey, uh, this goes out to one of my subscribers who uh, seems like a pretty cool guy. He has some good ideas. Hey, thanks for the heads up, you know. And hey, what about a update on those hatchlings you got? Well, they're not hatchlings anymore. <laughs> uh, I'll just go by starting off with don't ever get one of these filters don't mind these though the plants hey these turtles don't come up here so I thought I'd just use that to start some plants they're supposed to be in baggies wrapped like that it's called bird of paradise look them up it's pretty cool uh, anyway I got five turtles in here yeah don't even start saying some people that uh, oh it's too small for five turtles uh, they actually love it. Uh, I have no sick turtles. All my turtles are very playful. They love, well, they don't really, I shouldn't say all of them love people, but, uh, I know my red-eared slider just will sit there and beg and beg and beg for attention. Uh, not so much on the Mississippi maps, but they're getting there. Anyway. I have my setups here, uh, UVA, your UV lights, uh, UVB, uh, I have the 5.0 and the 2.0, this is the 2.0 and 5.0 is in there, along with, I think it's 7, 100 watt bulb, I think, I don't know, let me check, I forgot. Oh, this is where I keep all my stuff up. Anyway, um, they are 75 watt. And generally, my temperature will stay about. On a warmer day, it can get like 92. I've heard all kinds of where to keep your temperature, your basking area at, which basking area is right here. So climb up on this wood, bask, whatever. You climb right there. Uh, anywhere I've seen for anywhere from 85 to 95. So I figured that's okay. 87. It goes over anywhere from 87 to 92, um, which is fine. Water temperatures between 75 and 78 degrees. I've looked a lot of places online. A lot of professional places say about well, between 75 and 78. These little kids that get your little turtle from Turtle Shack or whatever, they want to be like, oh, well, they, you guys got to do this. No, sorry. I'm not going to sit there and watch your guys' videos on YouTube. I'm going to actually look up professional, like, facts about aquatic turtles, not on YouTube. But uh, anyway, I got a couple filters running. I got this big filter running. It sucks. Yeah, that little filter over there. It sucks. But uh, I gotta do water changes pretty frequently. You know, frequently. Um, and like I said, I have no issues with my turtles. They seem perfectly fine. Kids like to play with them. They like the kids. Uh, one likes to be hand fed. Uh, that towel is basically, I cover it up at night. I have no heat on at night. Uh, temperature stays right about 77 if I cover one side up. So uh, they generally say at night time you want to keep it about 75. Um, which is fine. I mean they got the heated water. They stay in the water most of the time anyway at night time. Never really seen them out. Uh, but they will stay active as long as there's light on in the house. So um, basically they're on our sleep schedule. Um, as for feeding, I just feed them um, twice a day, give or take. Uh, I give them pellets. Um, I do throw some lettuce in there. They do eat it. Uh, people have said that uh, you know you can feed them uh, krill and shrimp, which I do occasionally. I have all that stuff. Uh, I am breeding mealworms, superworms, uh, waxworms, which Waxworms will go uh, to my fish downstairs, but 
I'll get I'll give these guys a treat here and there. Um, you don't want to give them too much of those mealworms and superworms because they are high in uh, in protein and all that um, fat. And give them pretty plumped because I know it get those uh, uh, larvae get the wax worms get my fish downstairs pretty fat pretty quick. Um, let's see what else. Uh, Turtles, they really don't care for decorations, you know, I really don't think they really give a crap. Honestly, I think that what's in there now is too much. I have one plant in there, a couple pieces of driftwood. I do have roses in there. I've had five in there since I put this tank together. Well, since I put them all in the 10 gallon. Um, Let's move this towel and see who's hiding here. Alright, there's my map turtles. The little one, you can see the little runt, I would say, of the group. He is scared. Like, scared of everybody. I'm surprised he's not racing towards that corner back there. But anyway, uh, Rosie's are back there. They've still got five of them. They're fat as hell. <laughs> They pretty much will just eat whatever these guys don't eat. So they're kind of my, like, you know, second, you know, my uh, backup for the, you know, for cleaning. Uh, it is, there's some food flopping on out there. I do feed them in their tank. Um, people say, well, don't do that because you're going to get a lot of, like, your turtles are going to get sick and you're going to get a lot of, like, uh, growth bacteria well guess what I don't care I got snails in there I got the you know they do pretty good at keeping it down um, snails I don't know about you but your typical snails that you find at the pet shops that are on the plants and stuff uh, they multiply pretty quick and honestly uh, I put I remember transplanting, like moving some from my other tank into here, and there is just tons inside this filter over here. So, whatever. As long as they're not sitting here uh, destroying, making the outside look ugly, I don't care. They're inside there, I don't care. Um, but, that's that. They're happy. I have been, I've been doing research, you know, look to know what kind of signs to look for when your turtle starts getting sick uh, starts the whole lopsided swim seems, seems common uh, but uh, other than that they seem well easy to take care of and they seem to be growing pretty good pretty good uh, rate um, once they get bigger I really don't know what I'll do with them um, I do have a private pond that is well stocked with fish and rarely any predators that I do see that's well taken care of very clean so they may go in there when they get really really big but eventually I will you know I'll keep them for you know at least five six years you know we'll see how it goes but after these guys die or go, whatever happens to them, I'm done taking care of turtles. Uh, same with tropical fish. I hey, I'm sick of tropical fish. I got a tropical fish tank that I'm done. I'm done with. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's that. Any questions? I'll try to answer. I'm not the most knowledgeable person on aquatic turtles. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, and. Yeah, get a hold of me if you have any questions.